Hello, everybody. We would like to welcome you to today's live stream here in Zurich. Playing will be the seniors Zurich Renegades against the Argovia Pirates. Zurich will be playing in the bl uh, blue, and Argovia will be playing in the black and red. We will be getting ready for the entrance of both teams. Following, we'll see the coin toss, which will be decided which team will get the ball first in the first half and who in the second half. If you're nearby, please come by and watch the game with us. It's a very special event. Um, the Renegades put themselves together with the rugby team. And after the senior game, there will be a rugby game. So if you feel like seeing those two similar but not quite similar sports, you should really come and join us. We're here in the Uttergrund Sports Place. So just please come by if you like to and if you can't enjoy this stream. Thank you. We'll be ready in a couple of seconds. Coming to the field now are the Zurich Renegades, home team for today. Excuse me, that was false information. The speaker is just getting the fans hyped up at this point. If you're not that familiar with football, no worries, we'll walk you through it today. Every team has a defense and an offense, which are playing against each other. The offense has four tries to make 10 yards or score. You will be seeing orange coins in the back, which show you the distance of the 10 yards. And you'll see a small black coin with an orange number on it, which will show you which down it's on, which try. But I'll get back to that as soon as everything's on the field. Then each team has three timeouts in every half. Each game has four quarters. And after every quarter, teams switch positions, switch sides on the field to give them a fair try. Here you see the Argovia Pirates getting on the field. They're psyched. They're ready. They are the guests for today. Argovia came up from the C League two years ago. The same year, the Zurich Renegades came down from the NLA down to the League B. This will be an interesting start. They uh, have had a little rivalry going on the last couple of years, so this is an intense game. Do not want to miss it. Once again, if you're near, if you're near Zurich, come by and watch this. We're having the senior game now. Afterwards, there will be the rugby game. So it's a great event. There's food, drinks, great atmosphere, perfect weather, not too hot, not too cold. And here you see the Renegades. They organized a very special game day with the rugby team today.
now you see each team sending their captains out for the coin toss. The coin toss decides which team, the one who wins the coin toss, can decide if they want to be the receiving team of the ball here on the first drive in the first half or if they go for second half option, which would mean they would punt the ball to opponent team here in the first half but would be the receiving team in the second half. If you've seen football around the last couple of years and you say, I would like to learn more about American football in Switzerland, please visit our website or www.safv.ch. You will find all the information about teams in your region, as well as all the flag football teams, U16, U13, national teams, about our refs. Maybe you'd like to become a ref? We would love to have you. So just visit our website or www.safv.ch. And there goes the coin toss. Hey, how are you doing, Mike? Fine, how are you? Pre the team captains shake hands. Because after all, even if it is a hard sport, we we'll try to keep it as fair as possible. You see the referees on the field. There's the ones with the black hats. They have different positions. And then there's the white hat. He is basically the one who gets all the information from the other refs and will tell us or the teams if there's a penalty, why, and what it's for. Sports number one rule is fair play, so that's why we have them there and we make sure it stays that way. See both teams getting ready on the field. The start of a the game, there's the kickoff uh, special teams. You have the kicking team. And the other team who is receiving the ball is called the kickoff return team. So what they're going to do, they're going to kick the ball as far back as possible. And the receiving team will try to get control over the ball. To get the, uh, to get a hold of the ball, control the ball, and drive it as far downfield as they can so that their offense has the best opportunity to proceed their drive. The defense is there to try to stop the offense from scoring. So it's a very complex game at first. A lot of people call it chess on the field. But as soon as you know a little basic rules, you're good. Zurich will be kicking the ball first to Argovia, playing in the red and black. And kick off. It's high enough. It's very far back. Player from Argovia was able to catch the ball in the air and is going through, was able to be stopped at about the 21 yard line. First and ten for the Argovia Pirates at their own about 22-yard line. Trying to go for a run to the middle. He's running out to the left. I was able to be stopped by one of the Renegades defenders for a loss of yardage of about two yards. So it's second and 12 for the Argovia Pirates offense.
They tried it with a pass out to the right. There was no receiver ready to get the ball, which means passing complete, third and 12 for Govia's offense. Once again, Argovia tried it with the run through the middle. We weren't able to break through the Renegades' defense, which means it's fourth and 12, and it looks like Argovia will be forced to punt the ball. As I mentioned earlier, each team has four tries to get another first down. And if, it's, if they're on fourth down, they can either decide to play it out and risk. If they don't get another first down, it's turnover on downs, which means the opponent team gets to start their offense from the point where the ball was spotted last. So the other option is that you get the ball and you punt it as you see there and try to kick it as high as far back as possible. To get a clean start for kick, uh, get the position as far back for the opponent's team's offense to start. Now you see the change from defense to offense on the field. We'll be seeing Argovia's defense on the field and Surrey Renegade's offense on the field now. There's 11 players on each side, which means if there's defense, there's 11, and offense, there's 11 players. Now you can see the orange co cone in the picture. Right now you only see one, but the distance between the two shows you the difference of 10 yards, which is the distance they have to make to get another four tries or drive all the way downfield and score. Decide to go with the run by number 24. Looks like it's good for about three yards, but there's a flag on the play. When you see those yellow flags for all you out there that are not familiar with football, signalizes that there was a, a, f a mistake or a, a foul, as we call it. And in American football, you just call it a flag. When there's a flag, something went wrong. Somebody did something they weren't supposed to. It looks like it was a holding against the offense, which means 10 yards penalty. means it's repeat a first down first and 20 for Zurich's offense fake handoff to number 83 and they try to go with a run through the middle looks like it was good for about seven yards Looks like there was a false start against the offense, which means five yard penalty. They moved too early over the line of scrimmage. Line of scrimmage is an imaginary line taken between both teams where you're not allowed to cross over until the snap is completed and the time starts running. Either side moves too early. There's a five yard penalty against the team who moved too fast. Quarterback goes for a long pass downfield. Pass incomplete. Which means third down and 17 to go.
Looks like the Zerg is going to try to go for a pass, but the quarterback is put under pressure, tries to break free from Argovia's defenders and tries to pass downfield. Pass was not completed, was fumbled. <laughs> Number 38 from Argovia got his hand on it, fumbled again. But since number 38 from Akrovia was not able to control the ball, was unable to walk with, keep, uh, run with the ball and having it under control and dropped it, which means it's just an incomplete pass. It's a very dangerous situation, was a very dangerous situation for uh, Zurich right now because if they would have had the ball, they would have lost it and Argovia would have had the chance to drive downfield. So it's fourth and 17 for Zurich. Looks like they'll have to punt the ball back as well. Looks like both teams have a very strong defense, very motivated defense today. Punted down field at about the 21 yard line, but there's also a flag on the play. was against Zurich. Looks like it was a holding 10-yard penalty, which means Arcovia gets to start their next drive 10 yards ahead. That's why it's very important to play fair and play clean because you can get your team into very uncomfortable situations, which may cost you points and maybe even the game. First and ten for Argovia. Breakthrough, run to the middle. And it looks like it was good for about seven yards, which means second and three for Argovia. Pass out to the right. Pass was completed. It means it's good for another first down Argovia. was tackled right after receiving the pass and yet so it's good for another first down another pass out to the right was completed once again and was tackled out of bounds looks like it was good for another six yards second and four for Govia tries to Go with the run out to the left. It was stopped at about the 41 yard line, but there's a flag on the play holding against the offense, which means 10 yard penalty. Repeat a down. Quarterback tries to go for a pass out to the left. Pass was completed. And ran af out of bounds right after completing the pass. It's third down and five for Argovia's offense. As I mentioned earlier, these two teams have a friendly rivalry going on between each other. Beautiful run out to the left by number 23. And even though he was tackled, he took a jump forward. And it looks like he was able to make another first down. A 
Sokovia is now at the opponent's side of the field. But with the run out through the middle. And we'll stop after gaining about eight yards. Second and two for Argovia. Good for another first down. Govia getting dangerously close to Zurich's end zone. Which means pressure's on for the Renegades defense if they want to stop Argovia from scoring here in the first quarter. Timeout Zurich. Zurich has taken the first timeout out of three here in the first half. Argovia still has all three. At this point, if you would like to learn more about American football in Switzerland, please visit our website under www.safv.ch. You will find all the information about teams in your region. First and ten for Argovia, very close to the end zone. Pass out to the right, and it looks like very close, a couple inches away from the end zone. It's second and goal, only a couple inches away from the end zone. Ball was fumbled, but Argovia was able to recover it. So it's third and about seven to go. Due to the fumble, Argovia lost a couple of yards. Gives Cirque's defense a little more room to breathe to try to stop them. Number 23 tries to run out and around out to the right. He's able to be stopped about two yards for the end zone. But now it's fourth and two. Argovia has to decide, are they going to try to play it out? Or are they going to try to do a field goal? Field goal, if it's not after a touchdown, it will give you three points. They decide to run out. But we're stopped. Number 18 slipped and fell, which means turnover on downs. Current score so still zero for Zurich Renegades home team. Zero for Argovia Pirates, the guests of today. Since it's turnover on downs, which means Zurich's offense has to start where the ball was spotted last at their own 10 yard line, which is very close to their own end zone, which means it's always a danger of getting a safety. A safety is if the team gets tackled at behind their own goal line, two points for the other team, plus they lose the right, uh, they have to give the ball back to the opponent team. Which 
tried it with a run out to the left. Was good for about two yards. It's second down and eight. Handoff run through the middle. It looks like from this point might have been good for another first down, but I'm waiting for the rest. Yes, good for another first down, Zurich. First and 10 for Zurich's offense at their own 21 yard line. Again, handoff, run through the middle. And very close. The run was good for about another eight yards. Uh, excuse me, about six yards. Second and four for the Renegades offense. Once again, handoff to number 20, fake handoff to number 28, number 819 decides to run himself and it's good for another first down. Ran out of bounds at about the 39 yard line. Handoff to number 28, breaks through the line and is stopped after gaining about six yards. So it's second and four for the Renegades offense. They decided to go with the same play once again. Handoff number 28 running through the middle. Sam, it was good for about two yards. So it's third and one, a uh, third and one and a half, I would say. Handoff to number. 24 tries to run through the middle, but this time our goalie's defense were right there and saw what was going on. And we're able to stop them after gaining a couple of inches. So it's fourth down and about, I'd say, four inches. I have a feeling Sterk is going to try to play it out. Another handoff to number 24, and it looks like it's good for another first down. Ref confirms it. So I said you always have to consider if it's fourth down and, and five yards, you probably want to punt the ball. If it's fourth down, only a couple inches, you can risk it, especially if you're on the past your own side of the field. And this time it worked. They got another first down, first and 10 for Zurich at the 50 yard line. Looks like they're gonna go for a pass, quarterbacks rushed. And runs out of bounds. The Gobi's defenders were able to put a lot of pressure on the quarterback, not giving him the time nor the opportunity to pass downfield. Renegades lost about five yards, so second and 15.
second and five. Excuse me. Third and seven. Jink had to adjust. And off to number 28. Tries to run through the middle. And once again, it's fourth down and a couple of inches. I'll see, will Zurich decide to try go for it once again? Or will they pump the ball back? Tried it with a pass downfield. Wasn't completed. Which means turnover on downs. We'll have Argovia's offense back on the field. That was the end of the first quarter. Progressing into the second. Argovia is still having all three of their timeouts. Zurich took one in the first quarter, have two left here in the first half. First and ten for Argovia at their own 41 yard line. Decided to go for a run out to the right. And it looks like it was good for about two yards. Excuse me, for about a half a yard. Sometimes it's difficult to say exactly from this angle where I am from the top. But that's what the chink roof's for, so we know exactly where they stand. Second and about nine and a half yards to go for Goey's offense. Looks like they're going to try to go for a pass downfield. But it was overthrown, pass incomplete. So we're at third down and about nine and a half yards to go. Flag on the play, short pass out to number 23. Pass was complete. Number 23 was tackled right after completing the pass by Zurich's defenders. Flag was against the offense. Five yard penalty, offsides. And the repeat of them. Third and about 14 yards to go. Looks like Argovia is going to try to go for a pass downfield. But number 27 from Agoria was not able to get control over the ball, which means incomplete. We're at fourth. And about 14 yards ago, it looks like Argovia will have to punt the ball back to Zurich. 
her score is still 0-0. Zero, zero. was high enough far back it looks like number 35 tried to get control over the ball but fumbled it which means the ball is free there's also flag on the field we'll have to see if Argovia really got the ball back already or if Zurich will be able to continue their next drive was offsides by the defense. Penalty was declined, which means first down for Argovia. They did fum they fumbled the ball and got the ball back. First and ten for Argovia at the opponents. Thirty yard line. Try to go for a run out to the right. But Renegades defense are able to stop them for a loss of about a yard, which means second and 11 for the Argovia Pirates. Pass out to the right to number 27. He fumbles the ball. And it looks like Renegades were able to recover the fumble after fumbling the ball themselves. Looks like a pretty interesting, tough game today. Which means Zurich's offense will be back on the field and Argovia Pirates' defense back on the field. First and ten, Zurich Renegades at their own 30-yard line. Hand off to number... He's able to run through the middle and make a good nine yards. So it's second and one yard to go for Zurich's, o Zurich's offense. Another handoff to number 20. He tries to run through the middle. Looks like it was good for another first down. I'm waiting for the refs to confirm. And indeed, first down, Renegades. Another hand off to number 24. Run through the middle. It's good for a good five yards, which means second and five. Once again, handoff to number 24, runs through the middle. Lines pushing against each other to get the last couple of inches. 
That was good for another four yards, which means third and one. For the Zurich Renegades. Looks like a false start of the offense, which means a five yard penalty. Peter down. Another handoff to number 24. Another run to the middle. It's fourth down and about three yards to go. Now they have to decide, will they pump the ball back to Argovia or will they try to risk a turnover and downs and try to get another first down. But the way the formation is, it looks like they're going to kick the ball back to Argovia Pirates. Special punt, it almost looked like they were just going to try to run with it. Decides to punt anyway. Means our goalie will be starting their next drive at about the 30 yard line. First and 10 for Argovia Pirates. Usually, you say anything that's over the 20 yard line is a great situation, a great position to start a drive. Looks like they're going to go for a pass out to the left. Number 27 was able to complete the pass and was pushed out of bounds after gaining about six yards. So second and four, um, more five. Second and five for Govia Pirates. Another pass out to the right. Once again completed by number 27. And it's very close to getting another first down. I'm waiting for the ref to confirm. And it's good for another first down or go via Pirates. Quarterback was pressured, tried to pass downfield to number 27, but he was not fast enough to get there to receive the ball. It was covered by number 30 of the Sturrix defense. It's second and 10. White Hat just 
through another flag against the defense. Against the offense, excuse me. Looks like it was unsportsmanlike conduct. One of the players from the def uh, from the all from the offense, excuse me. Must have done something after the play that was unsportsmanlike. So it's second and twenty for Govia. Pass, so once again to number 27. Pass was incomplete. Which means third down and 20. Pass was completed. Long pass downfield. And even though there's two defenders there, number eight from the Argovia Pirates was able to complete the catch. First down, Argovia Pirates. Short pass once again to number 27. Pass is complete. That was good for another five yards. Second and five for Govia's offense. Looks like another pass to number 20, number 7, completes the pass and for some reason fell over. I guess he slipped, but it's good for another first down. Quarterback tried to break free the back to pass, but was sacked. <laughs> Loss of yards of about 18 yards, so it's second and 18. Quarterback tried to pass number 27. Pass is incomplete. Third and 18. Or there go via Pirates. This point. If you'd like to learn more about American football in Switzerland, please visit our website under www.safv.ch. They're going to go for another pass out to number 27. It was tackled out of bounds. It was good for about six yards. So it's fourth down and 12 yards to go.
Trying to play it out, pass downfield, pass incomplete. Which means turnover and downs, and we'll be seeing Zerk Renegade's offense here on the field. At their own 34 yard line. We're in the second quarter, score is still 0-0 zero to zero here in Zurich Uttergrund. Zurich tries to go with the run through the middle. Able to gain about two yards, second and eight. Pass out to the right. Tries to break free. Is able to be stopped. Third down and about seven yards to go. Pass downfield, pass is completed. He's still on his feet, number 29. He still is going, he's still running. Pass the 30, pass the 20, pass the 10, and is pushed out about a yard before the end zone. What a run. First down, Zurich Renegades. First and goal for Zurich, about a yard until they get into the end zone. Try to try it with a run through the middle. But our Gobi Pirates defense were able to stop it, even though their backs are against the wall. Second and goal, about two or three inches of max, and Looks like touchdown Zurich Renegades. New score, Zurich Renegades 6, Argovia Pirates 0. Now the Renegades will have to get ready for the point after touchdown. There's two options there. Either they can kick the ball through the field goal to get one additional point, or they can go and try to do another play from the five-yard line into the end zone, which would give them two points. As the name says, two-point conversion. The way the formation is, it looks like they're going to go try to kick the ball. And waiting to confirm, it's good. Which means new score. Seven for the Zurich Renegades, zero for the Gobia Pirates. Now we Zurich has the kicking team on the field. Our Govia Pirates kickoff return team is ready. Try to carry the ball f forward as far as possible. 
to give their offense a great start for the next drive. Kicker is checking with his team if they're ready. The kick is high enough, it's far enough. Number 22 gets a hold of the ball from Mergovia Pirates, tries to run through the middle, and is stopped close to the 30-yard line, which means first and 10 for Argovia Pirates at their own 29-yard line. Second and nine for the Ogobi Pirates offense. He's going to try to pass down. Field pass is completed by number seven. He tries to run, and it's good for another first down, Argovia Pirates. tries again once again pass out to the right pass is complete by number eight and was pushed out of bounds after gaining about four yards a so second and six for the Pirates offense Thirty-nine seconds left left here in the first half. Once again a pass out to the right to number twenty seven to complete the pass and looks like it was good for another two yards. Which means third and four for the Pirates offense. Fake to handoff, number 23 is running out to the right. And looks like they were able to gain another yard, which means it's fourth and two. There's not a lot of time left on the clock. Looks like second time out from Zurich. No, nope. time ran out. It's half time. We will be back after a short break of 15 to 20 minutes. If you don't know what to do during halftime, please check out our website or www.safv.ch. You will find all the information about all the teams, two teams playing today, as well as all the teams in your region. 
the different leagues, national teams, flag teams, etc. And I was informed that there was a halftime show prepared. So just stay tuned. If you don't, if you don't want to watch the halftime show, just go ahead and check out our website or www.safv.ch and we will be back here after about 15 minute 20 minute break the second half of the Zurich Renegades playing against the Argovia Pirates so stay tuned
And we are back here in the third quarter in Zurich Uttergrund. Current score is for the home team Zurich Renegades 7, Argovia Pirates, the guest team for today, 0. And kickoff. Time far enough back. Decide to pick it up and run. He's still on his feet. Number 20 still going through. He's still on his feet. He's still going. He's still going. Number 28 and he's tackled at about the 31 yard line. First and ten for the Zurich Renegades at the 31 li yard line. Both teams have three times out timeouts here in the second half. And run through the middle by number 24 of the Renegades. Good for about three yards, so it's second and seven. Another run by 24. He's still on his feet. He's still going. He's still fighting for the last couple inches. To almost 40 yard line. First down, Zurich Renegades. Another run by number 20 right through the middle. Second and three. Zurich's off Zurich offense. Another handoff to number 20. Was in, but Argovia's defense was right there to stop him before he was able to gain in yards and lost about four yards. So it's third and seven. Fake handoff to number 20. Short pass number 83. Completes the pass. Got them another about five yards. So it's fourth down at a couple of inches. I have a feeling Zurich is going to try to play it out. And it's even good for a first down. First down Zurich. Hand off to number 24, who runs through the middle. Still on his feet, he broke through the line. He's able to be tackled after getting another first down. First down, Zurich Renegades. First and ten. Timeout was taken. In this heat, timeouts are not just strategically important, but the players need to hydrate. Out here, it's about 27 degrees. Underneath all that gear, it's about 10 degrees warmer. 
So it's very, very important that the team stay hydrated, the players stay hydrated, to prevent injuries and in keeping the boys focused. Current score is still 7 for the home team Zurich Renegades, 0 for the guests Argovia Pirates. Once again, handoff to number 24 tries to go through the middle, but this time the Pirates' defense were able to stop them quite abruptly. Second and nine. Fake handoff number 20. Number 19 decides to run himself and is pushed out of bounds at about the eight yard line. Zurich is in the middle of the red zone of the Argovia Pirates. Red zone usually is called from the 20 yard line on, but I was informed by former NFL coach Don Clemens that the red zone in the NFL actually doesn't start until the 15-yard line. Something went wrong with the snap. The quarterback decides to run, pick up the ball. He's still on his feet. He's trying to break free, tries to pass the ball downfield. It's overthrown. That's going to cost a couple of yards for the Renegades. There's a flag on the play. The pressure's always up by the defense and the offense when they're that close to either end zone no matter which team it is. Big pressure on the defense to keep the offense from scoring and the offense being so close and not getting too excited or ready to make mistakes. Looks like there was... an offsides by the defense. Five-yard penalty, but if it's so close to the end zone, usually it's half the distance. Second and about two, three yards to go. And touchdown, Zurich Renegades. New score, 13 for Zurich Renegades home team. Zero for our guests, Argovia Pirates. ready for the point after touchdown and from here it looked like it's good I'm waiting for the refs to confirm it's good new score 14 for Zurich Renegades 0 for Agovia Pirates So the Renegades are getting ready to kick the ball back to the kickoff return team of the Algovia Pirates. The 
The teams are playing here in Zurich at the Uttergrund. Just special event, special thanks to the rugby union. They put their heads together and make this special event. We have football here now, and afterwards there will be a rugby game. So if you're nearby in Zurich and you want to come see football and rugby at the same time, this is your opportunity. There's food, drinks, the weather is great. The atmosphere is awesome. A lot of great people here. I got I had the pleasure of meeting a lot of them personally. You do not want to miss it. So if you're nearby, just come stop by. It's worth it, I promise. Once again, the kick is high and far enough. Right into the hands of the Gravia Pirates. Decides to run with it. Makes it all the way to about the 27 yard line. Excuse me, 22 yard line. From my angle, it's sometimes difficult to say exactly where they stand until the chain crew is positioned. First and ten for Argovia. Long pass down field to number seven, but the receiver was not able to catch the ball because it was overthrown. Pass incomplete. Second and ten for the Pirates. Short pass out to the left, number eight, completes the pass. It was tackled immediately by two defenders of the Renegades. and six. Short pass once again to number 27. So to complete the pass and get the Pirates another good three yards, which means it's fourth down and about a yard. Argovia now has to decide, will they try to risk getting a new first down with that one yard, but also risking a turnover on downs, which would put Zurich at a very close position to their end zone. Almost looks like they're going to punt the ball back to Zurich. They don't want to risk a turnover and downs this close to their own end zone. Kick was very, very high. All the way down to the 40-yard line. And rolled all the way back to the 30. Which means Zurich's offense will be starting their next drive from the 30-yard line. First and 10, Zurich Renegades. First and ten for Zurich playing in the blue. Number 28 was able to break through. He's still on his feet. Still going. Was able to break through another tackle and was able to be stopped at about the opponent's 48-yard line. First down, Zurich Renegades. Tries to run through the middle, but 
that the Pirates defense saw was going on and was able to stop them quite abruptly. After about four yards, second and six. Number 90 tries to drive downfield, and it looks like it's good for another first down. And after number 28, he has to run. He's still on his feet. He's still going. It looks like it's good for another first down. Number, number four still on his feet. He's able to be stopped at about the eight yard line. Another run by number 28. Tries to go through the middle. Looks like it was good for another two or three yards. So it's second and goal. Touchdown, Zurich Renegades. I have to be honest, I saw a handoff, but it was a fake. New score, 20 for the Zurich Renegades. Zero for Govia Pirates. Zurich is getting ready for the point after touchdown. to kick the ball and it looks like it's good. The referee confirmed new score 21 Zurich Renegades 0 Argovia Pirates. Special teams are getting ready. Govia's kickoff return team. Zerg's kicking team. The game continues here in the third quarter. High and far kick. The goalie decides to run with it. Still on his feet. He puts his head down. And it looks like our goalie will be starting their next drive at their own 19-yard line. Now, if you're familiar with football, you know this. If you're not, I'll try to explain. If the ball 
it goes out the back, out of the field. It's an automatic touchback, which means the team automatically gets to start at their own 20-yard line. If this doesn't happen, the ball is stopped anywhere behind there or not behind the um, end zone. The ball just starts there where it's placed last. Pass out to the left, but it slipped right through number seven's hands. Pass was incomplete, first and ten. For the Govia Pirates. If you would like to get more information about football in Switzerland, teams in your region, or maybe even the two teams playing today, please visit our website under www.safv.ch. You will find all the information about teams in your region, as well as flag football leagues, U16, U13, juniors, national teams, even our refs. So if you would like to participate or even learn more about American football in Switzerland, Click on our website under www.safv.ch. Offsides by the defense. Five yard penalty. Repeat it down. Oh, excuse me. It was against the offense. From here, it looked like it was the defense. But the refs from the side see it better. So it's five yard penalty against the offense, which means second and. Second and 15 for the Pirates. Argolio is pushed back, lost another good five yards very close to their own goal line. Now the danger is big. Gargovia needs to break through to get out of their own end zone or, or they will be risking the safety. Gargovia is taking their first time out here in the second half of this League B game here in Zurich Uttergrund. If you're nearby, just come by. There's food, there's drinks, great atmosphere, great people around. You don't want to miss it. After a football game, we'll be having a rugby game here as well, since it's a special event combined by the Zurich Renegades and the Rugby Union, who offered their field for today. So it's a great event. You don't want to miss it. So come by if you can here in Zurich Uttergrund. We'll be more than wel happy to welcome you. third and about 25 quarterbacks under pressure tries to pass down field to number eight pass incomplete so it's fourth down at about 25 pirates are pretty much forced to pump the ball but that's very very difficult being so close to their own goal line it's going to be a short, short distant punt because they just don't have the room for it.
Punt is high enough. Rolls about to the 40-yard line. It's still rolling, still on the ground. Zerk decides to pick up the ball. He's still on his feet. Number 35 is still on his feet. He's past the 20, past the 10. He's still on his feet, and he stumbles into the end zone. Touchdown, Zurich Renegades. New score, Zurich Renegades, 27. But there's a flag on the play. So we'll have to wait and see if it affected the touchdown or not. was an illegal block in the back against the Renegades, which means 15-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Automatic first down for Agobia Pirates. Once again, these Second and about nine and a half for Zerk's offense. Flag on the field. False start against the offense. Zerk Renegades, five yard penalty. Repeat it down. Pass out to the right, incomplete pass, which means third and about 13 yards ago. Hand off to number 20. He runs out to the right. And is tackled after about two yards. It's fourth down. Yeah, no, three yards. It's fourth down and 10. Looks like Zurich will be forced to punt the ball back to Argovia Pirates. They decide to play it out all the way downfield. Intercepted by number 31 from the Argovia Pirates. He's still on his feet. He's running. He's going. And he slips at about their 20-yard line, which means first and 10 for Argovia Pirates at about the, excuse me, I have to correct that, 15-yard line. First and ten for Govia after interception. Trying to run out to the left. Renegades defense were right there to stop him behind 
for a loss of about two yards. It's second and 12 for Gobi Pirates. Looks like Gurvey's going to go for a pass out to the left, to number seven. The pass was incomplete. End of third quarter, we're going into fourth. Current score is 21 for the home team, Zurich Renegades, zero for the guests, Argovia Pirates. Which means the teams are switching sides for the last time. Zurich Renegades are first place at the moment in the ranking of the League B. Gobi Pirates are third place at the moment in League B. And they have been having a little friendly rivalry going on ever since both teams came into B. Argovia came up from C League two years ago and the Renegades came down from the NLA two years ago. So there's been a friendly rivalry going on ever since. So this is an important game for both teams. Argovia going for a pass on field to number seven. He completes the pass. First down Argovia Pirates. Short pass to number 22 out to the right. It's good for about nine yards. For another pass down to number 27. First down, Argovia Pirates. First and ten for Gobi at the 50-yard line. Quarterback says pass downfield, but the pass was overthrown. Which means second and ten for the Pirates. Quarterback is put under pressure, tries to break free the pass downfield, but pass is incomplete. And a flag on the play. Looks 
Looks like a personal foul against the defense. Looks like a late hit. Automatic first down for the Pirates. Personal fouls are usually 15 yards penalty. It's always an automatic first down. Time out. This gives you the best opportunity while the players get hydrated to check out our website on www.safv.ch. You will find all the information about the two teams playing today including all teams in your region, all teams in general, as well as rankings, scores, the next games that are going on if you would like to go and visit a game. You can find all the information about referees, etc., and what you have to do to become a ref, all the contacts if you'd like to get a little more information in detail. So just visit our website or www.safv.ch. First and ten for the Pirates. Looks like they're going to for a pass out to the right once again. Number 27 completes the pass and tries to break through Zurich's defense. It's good for about, I would say about good eight yards, which means second and two for the Pirates. Fake the handoff, a run through the middle. Good for another yard, which means third down and one to go. For the Pirates offense. Run through the middle by number 22. Looks like it's good for another first down Pirates. To number seven out to the left, still on his feet, trying to break through. Both the defender and the receiver run out of bounds. It's good for another eight yards. It's nine yards even. Second and one for Argovia's offense. Argovia being at about the 15 yard line now. In the middle of the red zone now. We'll be seeing Argovia score for the first time at this game. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Argovia tries to go with the run through the middle. This time, Zerg's defense is right there to stop him. It's good for a couple inches, so it's third down and about a half a yard.
if you're wondering why always one of the two teams is standing in the circle, that's the huddle. That's where the team captains inform the offense about which play they're going to do. So each player knows or should know exactly what they have to do. Quarterback center pressure passes downfield, but passes incomplete, which means fourth down and about a half yard to go. Being this close, either they can try to go for it and get another first down or maybe even a field goal to get at least three points on the board. We'll have to wait and see. But from this point, it looks like they're going to try to go for another first down. Which I must say is possible, being this close. Go with a run through the middle. But Zurich's defense was there, pushed him back, which means turnover on downs. First down for Zurich Renegades. Here in the fourth quarter, current score, 21 for the Zurich Renegades home team, 0 for the Argovi Pirates away team. You need to know about football. It's very strategic. It's very physical sport. But it's just as much a mental sport as is a physical sport. Zurich tries to go for a run. But Argovia's defense was right there to push them back. And they lose about six yards. So it's second down about 16 yards to go for the Renegades. Once again, Sir tries it with a run through the middle. It was good for about four yards. So it's third down and 12. Pass out to the right to number four. Still on his feet able to break through the tackle. He's still on his feet. He's still going. Goes past another defender. He's by himself. He's past the 40. He's past the 30. He's past the 20. And touchdown, Zurich Renegades. And I do not see a flag on the field. New score, 27 for the Zurich Renegades. Home team, 0 Argovia Pirates, away team. Zurich gets ready for the point after touchdown. Up to now, they always went with the punt, uh, to kick the ball, excuse me, for the point after touchdown, and it looks like they will continue to do so. From my point of view, it looks like it's good. The referee confirms new score, 28 for the Zurich Renegades. Zero for the Argovia Pirates. Both teams getting ready. Zurich's getting ready to kick the ball. Argovia's kick up return team is back on the field.
kicker punter getting confirming with his team if they're ready kick is high it's far back right into the hands of number 22 of our the pirates he's still on his feet he's trying to maze his way through and is stopped at the 30 yard line first and 10 for govia pirates at the 30 yard line Short pass to number 27 once again. Looks like it's good for good five yards. Second and five for the Argovia Pirates. Another pass that was tipped by one of the Zurich's defenders and rolled out of bounds before either team got their hands on it. Usually fourth quarter is always one of the hardest because both teams are starting to get tired, especially in this heat today. Even though now it might seem a little cloudy, it's very humid. And underneath all that gear, you can just add about 10 degrees, and that's how you feel underneath all that gear. Flag on the play. It looks like false start offsides, I think, by the defense, which would mean a five-yard penalty. I repeat it down. The referee's consulting from each side to say which side moved first. From my point of view, it looked like it was the defense, but it's always hard to tell from the distance I'm at. And White Hat confirms it's the defense, which means five-yard penalty. Repeat it, da repeat it down. So it's third down and a couple inches. For a Gobi Pirates defense uh, offense, excuse me. And first down for the Pirates. Like everybody's going to go for a pass downfield. Pass incomplete. Second and ten. He's going to go for another pass downfield. But the receiver was not where the quarterback intended him to be or quarterback didn't throw where the receiver was. was. I don't know how you want to call it, but the pass was incomplete. So third down and ten. Quarterback is put under pressure, tries to pass downfield. Pass is incomplete, which means fourth and ten for the Pirates.
ball leaves the field at about the 35 yard line. Which means Zurich's offense will be starting in their next drive where the ball has left the field. First and ten, fourth of the Zurich Renegades at the 40-yard line. Run through the middle. Seemed like it was good for about a half a yard. So it's second and nine and a half. And after number 20, he runs out to the right. He's able to be stopped for a loss of about about two yards. It's third down and 12 to go. Pass on field intercepted. Still on his feet. Which means first down for the Govia Pirates. At the opponent's 31 yard line. Short pass to number eight of the Ogrovia Pirates. He's still on his feet. He's breaking through all the defenders, and he fumbles the ball. And it looks like Zurich was able to get the ball back. Frustrating for the Pirates, being so close to the end zone. First and ten for the Zurich Renegades at their own 11-yard line. They are very close to their own end zone, which is always dangerous for safety. If they get pushed back and tackled behind their own goal line, they always risk a safe. So it's very important for them to break through and go forward to make sure they get out of that danger zone. Second and eight for the Zurich Renegades. Run by number 11 out to the left and gets another first down Renegades. Try it with the run through the middle. Good for about four yards, which means second down and six to go.
Long pass, downfield pass, incomplete. Touch the fingertips of number 75 of the Renegades. Third and six. Offsides and the defense. Five yard penalty. No, it was against the offense then. As I said, sometimes it's difficult from up here to see exactly who moved first or so it's third and ten once again renegades try with the run through the middle but the Pirates' defense were able to stop them. They even lost that three yards. It's fourth down and 13. And it looks like Zurich is getting ready to kick the ball back to Argovia. Flag on the play. See a player running off the field from the Renegades. I have a feeling there was a man too many illegal formation. Ball rolls over at the 40-yard line. Number 27 of the Pirates is able to get a hold of the ball. He tries to break through and runs out of bounds at about the 35-yard line. Short pass to number 27. He's on his feet. He got another first down. He was tackled short after. Pass in the run was good for about another 11 yards. First and ten for the Pirates. Short pass to number eight. Completes the pass. Able to break through the first two defenders and is tackled short after. Looks like it was good for a good six yards. Second and three for the Pirates. Pass is incomplete. Third and three.
And that's the end of the game. Final score, 28 for the home team, Zurich Renegades, 0 for the Argovia Pirates. I would like to congratulate to the Renegades as well, to the Pirates for not giving up until the end, trying to fight. First quarter was quite close. In the second, Zurich was able to break through. And thanks to both teams for a great fair play. Thank you, Zurich, for inviting us for the live stream. It was a pleasant day, and um, we will be enjoying the rugby game here. Additionally, we won't be streaming it, so if you're nearby, you might just want to come by and watch it yourself. Um, if you watch this game and said, this sport is cool, or I've always wanted to learn more about American football, please do under our website, under www.safv.ch. You'll find the information about all the teams in your region, all the different leagues, all the different age groups, about our referees. Maybe you say, okay, I don't want to play, but I would like to ref. No problem. You can get the contacts on our website, www.safv.ch. We will be back next week on Saturday in Biel and then on Sunday in Lucerne. So I would be very happy to see you tune in again next week. Thank you, everybody, for watching and listening, and have a great Sunday evening. Take care and bye-bye.